Hello everyone and welcome to another After Effects tutorial. In today's video we will recreate the text animation in Siemens Manifesto video. Hey, make sure you subscribe with notifications on, otherwise you may be missing out on the many tutorials that I'm releasing for free here on YouTube. Let's make a new composition. Let's call it text01. Choose the HD version settings and set the duration to 4 seconds. Add a new solid and set the color to a dark blue. Rename it to background. Add your text. Set it to center and align it in the center. I will change the text color to white. Hit Ctrl plus D to duplicate the text layer. Now, open the text properties for both text layers and then link the second text layer source to the first one. Select the second text layer and set it to blue. Add a rectangle with the rectangle tool. Open the layer contents and convert it to Bezier path so we can adjust the path. Let's add a circle with the ellipse tool. With control key pressed, set the anchor point to the center with T pan behind tool. Position it under the trail and then move them both to the desired position. Let's rename the layers to circle and trail and then parent the trail to the circle. Try to adjust the size to fit the text size. Now it's time to start animating the text. We will start with the highlighted word. Open the text layer. Click on animate and choose opacity. Set it to zero. Now open animator one, range selector one then go to advanced. Change the units to index. Based on to words. Set the start to minus 1 and the end to 0. Set the offset to 4. Now, change the mode to subtract. Hide the other layers. Select the first text layer and click on Animate Opacity. Set it to 0. And then click again on Add and choose Position. Set the Y position to 71. Now, open the Range Selector 1, Advanced. Change based on to words. Set the start to 100, and to 0. Go to the beginning of the timeline and set a keyframe offset 0. After one second add another keyframe with 100 value. Now, select the second text layer and hit T in the keyboard to reveal the opacity. Set a keyframe 100 at one second in the timeline. Go back one frame and set the opacity to zero. Now, duplicate the animator one with Ctrl plus D. Delete the opacity. 
at scale. At 106 frames set a keyframe of 205 then at 1 second set it to 100. Change the mode to add. Now click on add property, tracking. Set a keyframe on 0 and then another keyframe with 22 value. Let's do the same with the first layer. Copy the animator 0 to with Ctrl plus C and paste it on the first text layer. Select animator 2 and drag it on top of animator 1. Select all keyframes and set the to ease ease or just hit F9 in the keyboard. Open Animator 2 and add a keyframe at current time to tracking amount. Go to 305 and add another keyframe and set it to 66. Go to frame 100 and add a keyframe to the opacity. Go forward 1 frame and set it to 0. Now, add a keyframe to opacity 100 and then set it to 0. Let's preview our animation so far. We can adjust some keyframes then set them to ease ease. Now, let's animate the circle and the trail. At one second, set a keyframe for position. At 12 frames, move the circle. Hit S in the keyboard to reveal the scale and add a keyframe. At frame 10, change the scale to 0. In the trail layer, activate the stopwatch for the path. Let's set an in and out position. Slightly move the keyframes after the circle animation. I will adjust the anchor point for the trail. Let's activate the motion blur for the circle and trail layers. Add two scale keyframes for the trail so we can see only the dot in the beginning. Select both layers and trim them. Right click on the circle position and separate dimensions. Select both keyframes and adjust them in the curve editor to get a smoother movement. Let's add a glow effect. I hope you found my tutorial informative and easy to follow. Please leave a comment with your thoughts 
and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I will continue to create and share helpful tutorials for your benefit, so be sure to keep an eye out for them and subscribe to my channel to stay updated. Thank you for your support.